joining us now in an exclusive is Peter Ingram, Hawaiian Airlines CEO. They have been a leader in testing, and they just announced three new routes to Hawaii or from Hawaii to the mainland as well. Peter, great to have you on. Hey, why is now the time to announce three new routes? Well, great to be on with you and uh, Meli Kaliki Maka to everyone uh, on the mainland and at CNBC. Uh, the, the the reason it's the time to an announce three new routes is because you, you know we see we're very optimistic about a recovery in 2021. These are places we've been looking at for a long time. They have good, strong demand uh, for Hawaii. I've seen uh, coverage on your air about how Austin is uh, booming as a, a tech center these days, and we think that uh, that many of those people are going to want to travel to Hawaii. And uh, the same goes for Orlando, which has a, a growing population. And Ontario is a market that we've been looking at for a while. So in a period where the depth of some of our traditional routes may not be what it was, it's a good opportunity for us to look at broadening our network. And, and we see great opportunities from all of these, not just for next year, but for the long term. Peter, I realize you have an airline business to run, but... Does it feel strange to be adding flights and encouraging people to take vacations to Hawaii at a time where our public health officials, the CDC, is encouraging them to stay home, to not travel with families and to wait until this COVID surge calms down a little bit? We're, we're at the worst levels we've ever seen. Well, we've taken a lot of precautions at our airline and uh, really in our community here in Hawaii to make sure we're, we're doing everything we can to protect public health. Uh, f flying on airplanes has has proven to be very safe, and there's there's strong uh, research about that. And one of the differences with Hawaii in particular is that, that we've got our testing regime in place, and it's been in place since October. And so the, the vast majority of those people uh, that are getting on our airplanes to avoid quarantines have been uh, tested in advance, and we think it is uh, absolutely um, safe to travel. We we certainly recognize that, that people need to be very careful. And, uh, you know, I join uh, other um, leaders in encouraging people to keep gatherings um, small uh, this holiday season and let's get through this uh, difficult time period. But um, traveling safely is, uh, and yeah. travel. Well, we, the term we use is travel pono, which is a Hawaiian word for just doing things right. And I think if you travel pono, you can travel this holiday season. Peter, I was on two 767s last week. Both of them were not only sold out, they were oversold. How full are your flights right now? Well, we're well down from where we would normally be. You know, this last week of the year, typically for us, almost every flight is uh, is full, ninety five percent and above, and we're we're not running that um, this year. Uh, we have seen demand uh, gradually begin to recover. We've still got a long uh, way to go, but um, but you know, typically our our flights are in the um, the fifty to sixty percent full range. There are some. Peak periods where demand is uh, a little higher than that, but uh, th th there's plenty of uh, of capacity out there relative to the demand right now, and we're really looking forward to that demand recovery as we go into 2021. Peter, as more and more Americans get vaccinated and get the opportunity to get vaccinated against COVID-19, how, as a CEO, are you thinking about getting your workforce vaccinated, and and would you mandate that so that your customers can feel safe? Yeah, it's certainly something that we have been uh, been thinking about. Uh, I, you know, it's a, a really a priority for us to have vaccinations become available for essential workers like our teams uh, here at, at the airline, particularly our frontline um, staff. And uh, when that priority comes along, the position that we're uh, we're likely going to take is to strongly uh, recommend that. I, I think most of our employees will want to. Uh, get the vaccine and, and get it quickly, and um, you know we're certainly going to encourage that and and work with officials here in Hawaii and the other places we serve um, to make it as accessible as possible, so that we can we can help them out with distribution and make sure we we get that scheduled efficiently and and get as many people vaccinated as quickly as we can. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.